Hey guys, so a little fun film history stuff happening today. Steven Soderbergh posted on his blog, Extension 765, a version of Michael Chimino's film, Heaven's Gate, that he's calling The Butcher's Cut. Heaven's Gate was released in 1980 at 3 hours and 38 minutes, and Soderbergh's Butcher's Cut comes in at an hour and 48. So Soderbergh is kind of obsessed with editing, and all over his blog you can read about some of the things he's got to say about the process, but the exercise of cutting this film in particular down is actually really cool. Now if you're not familiar with Heaven's Gate or director Michael Chimino, it's actually a pretty notorious film. Now Chimino came up with all of the new Hollywood directors in the 70s with the Spielberg and Lucas and Coppola and all those guys. And and they were obviously making some really cool stuff. You know, Star Wars and Jaws and Godfathers and Apocalypse Now, all of those movies. And Chimino was right there with them. His Deer Hunter won the Best Picture and Best Director Oscar in 1979. But Heaven's Gate came along and they had all these insane production problems. They shot 1.3 million feet of film. They, the budget went up to $44 million, which for the late 70s was pretty freaking huge. Then there were all these stories and rumors coming out of the production that Chimino was just going nuts. He was doing like 50 takes of a scene where a guy just moons a whole bunch of immigrants. And he's like demanding to have sets torn down because, you know, they just, they just didn't look quite right. Things like that. So the movie, before it even came out, was getting this reputation of being really, really pretentious. And then the movie finally did come out, and it was really, really pretentious. And watching the movie, you can definitely see where all of that money and all of that pretension and all of that attention to detail went. There's, it's just filled with tracking shot after tracking shot of just like following this one guy through this crowd of like a hundred extras who are all really intricately wardrobed and then like goes through this building that they probably built from scratch and then out the other side of the building and then a train is pulling up right as they land on the end of this tracking shot. Behind the train there's a hundred more extras that you don't even see but you know they're back there and I'm sure they're wearing a hundred thousand dollars worth of wardrobe and, and I'm sure he did 35 takes of the thing and they were six days behind schedule five days into shooting. But Heaven's Gate really became notorious for what it did to the film industry in general. It's usually credited as putting an end to the kind of autonomy that directors had in the 70s. So obviously there were other movies that were really self-indulgent and sucked that came out right about the same time, but none of them lost near as much money as Heaven's Gate did. So studios started to clamp down and take back more control from the directors. So for Soderbergh to chop this movie in half today is actually super interesting. You look at Junho Bong's film Snowpiercer, which starring Chris Evans, about everybody on a train post-apocalypse, but Harvey Weinstein wants to cut the domestic version of the film way down. I mean, it was a big deal and there was a whole lot of, oh damn, stupid studio messing with a director's vision sort of backlash against the idea of a producer's cut. So ultimately I usually lean towards the side of like even the best author needs a good editor. It seems like every director's cut I ever watch on a bonus feature of a DVD always feels a little too long. Those extra scenes always feel a little just extra. Filmmaking is an incredibly collaborative process and I've never really had a beef with studio notes to a point. But more recently people have looked back at Heaven's Gate and decided that it's actually pretty good. A lot of critics have come out and said it's, it's a, a masterpiece. For what it's worth, I say no, it's not a masterpiece. It's really huge and it's remarkably well shot uh, but it's not a masterpiece. But I am curious to see what Soderbergh's version of it looks like because cutting a movie in half, even if the movie is 100% too long to begin with, has got to be a very, very difficult thing to do. So let me know what you think. Go check out the original Heaven's Gate, then check out Soderbergh's version. The whole thing will only take you like five hours and change. And then come back for more movie news on Cinefix Now. Is it Chimino? Cimino. Cimino? Cimino? I think it's Chimino for some reason.